Let's have a look now at sustainability in dentistry. Joining me in the studio is Professor Claudio Fernandez, who's been taking part in a forum on just that subject. Claudio, thank you for joining us. Thank you very much, Sam, for having the opportunity. I wonder if you could start by telling us what is the relationship between dentistry and sustainability? Well, sustainability today is one of those issues that you see in every single newspaper in everywhere in the world every single day. It's just out there and it actually concerns everybody, including dentists. The fact though is that the issue has not been taken in dentistry so far. And it is about time we take our time and dedicate ourselves a little bit more to that. So what currently uh, is the effect of the dental industry on the environment? All uh, subjects of uh, activity of humankind has some kind of impact and dentistry also. There are certain parts of our care that need to be well adjusted to be able to meet the uh, social demands. We need to provide more care to more people in more parts of the world. But at the same time, we are being challenged to use less resources, Earth's finite resources. So this is how, how we face this challenge, is really going to secure our success as oral health professionals. So how do we face this challenge? There are a number of ways that we can look into it. For example, uh, the ways that we are consuming materials, the ways that we are uh, deploying in technologies. Uh, so it is very important that all dentists are aware how they utilize uh, technologies that do exist and they can become uh, more effective in the way of preventing this to impact the environment. Would you say that there's enough awareness in the dental industry, in the oral health care profession about sustainability yet? There is a great potential of leadership within the oral health profession. Uh, dentists are very much trusted by the population as an opinion leader in several subjects. And as a member of society, the dentists are also taking an interest of learning how they can react to this, to this action and, and be positive about that. And building in their own office ways of reducing energy consumption, um, ways of uh, increasing uh, the quality of their waste management, and or using recyclable materials, you know, f uh, finding ways to relate to their public in a more efficient way, and in that way also being more sustainable. Are there any guidelines and help out there available to help? Now, a framework of action is, can be found in the ISO standards. Uh, ISO standards can be used directly to provide references for how products and equipment uh, should behave in order to have uh, a reduced impact and higher efficiency at the same time as it can provide metrics so as for us to analyze how the performance uh, uh, was carried on. It, it sounds like a big challenge, are you feeling positive about it? It is a challenge. This is going to take a, a multilateral effort from all stakeholders. But we do understand that there is a lot of commitment. Here in FDI, for example, there are a number of teams being formed to study deeply the, pro the, the process, particularly uh, within the committees. Important part of dentists being proactive about this and not only waiting for to react on uh, regulation issues that are driven perhaps by other kinds of politics that will put dentistry in the same position as many other health professions and we have not been able perhaps to say our points of view the way we should. So being proactive about that is the real best way of dealing with it. Well it was very interesting talking to you Claudio and uh, thank you for joining us. Thank you very much Sam, it was uh, wonderful to participate.